Hello, I'm uh, Coach Tom Story from Cowder Sport High School. I got Eli Ayers, my senior uh, lineman, and I got Stevie Kelly, one of my senior running backs. Uh, Tom, looking at the season, uh, now you're in your second year as the head coach. Things a little bit more comfortable with you guys and everything that you're trying to do now? Yeah, last year coming in as a first year uh, coach, uh, it's kind of a big deal to be doing that and taking over and then all the things I kind of want to get going. Uh, made, made for an interesting year uh, starting out, but this year it's it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more exciting because we're building off of everything that we did set up last year and it, it gives us a chance to to keep moving forward from where we were last year. So yeah, it's an exciting, exciting time, second year. Hopefully there's no sophomore jinx or anything like that, but no, it looks, looks uh, like we're going to have some fun this year. Steve, what, what are you guys hoping to accomplish and build off of from a year ago? Just working more on the offense and building on what we had going last year. And we got a lot of the line back, so. Eli, what does it take for the line to be successful? Uh, a lot of communication, really, is all it is. Being able to point out everyone knows who they're blocking, when they're blocking, and where we got to go to make holes for these running backs to get through. Um, Tom, you have a couple of uh, holes that you need to fill from a year ago. I mean, Jared Green was such an intriguing part of that offense. What do you, did you guys replace that, those guys like one-on-one? -on -one? Does it take a team effort to replace those guys? Yeah, losing Jared's going to be a big, he was a big impact uh, for all four years that he played. Um, so yeah, trying to fill his, his shoes and everything, of course it's going to kind of be tough. But I think we, you know, the team that we have, as you see, you know, we've got a lot of returning starters. Um, and a lot of the positions we had, we had guys going back and forth. Uh, you know, we, we had a, uh, a plan to rotate throughout the game. So I think filling those shoes, is, is, it's going to be tough. But I think we do have the guys that will fit in. Uh, at the quarterback position, we've got a couple guys that, you know, we'll be looking at here at the beginning of the season uh, that, you know, run the offense well. And, and uh, one of them, Hayden Keck, is, you know, got some time there last year. And so I think filling Jared's shoes, Although, you know, tough, I think we got the guys that can do it. What do you guys have to do offensively to be successful? Uh, I, basic thing that Eli said is communication. Uh, you know, the offense we run, we, we, do, we do run a lot of the option. Uh, we do run a lot of the power, power football as it is, too. Pretty much it's just execution and, and uh, you know, opening up the holes and giving our running backs a room to run. And then defensively, what's the key to, to the season for you guys? Uh, big key, kind of straight off from our from one of our playoff games, is stopping the pass. But I think uh, you know just another another way of doing things. Uh, we got we're gonna have a little bit different defense, I think, this year. We unfortunately lost one of our, our defensive coach. Uh, we're gonna promote one of the guys up. And he's gonna start doing defense. I think we're gonna be doing some things differently. Uh, probably putting a little more pressure on the front line and uh, you know getting into the backfield. And uh, other than that, it's the same thing. Communication. Everybody knows what they're doing, where they're going, and uh, covering what we got to cover. The new league, how do you guys react to that? Uh, right off the top, it's not much different for us northern teams because we were already playing four games in the south. Uh, I think it's going to be great in the sense that we're going to be playing like-sized schools. Um, you know, it's nice that we get a chance to uh, – we've played most of the teams throughout the year, uh, throughout the last couple of years. We've played the Kerwinsville, we've played the Red Bank Valley. We got lucky enough to play uh, Clarion Limestone, and of course, Elk County Christian. We've always played them, so we've already played those Southern teams at, at some point in time. Um, but no, it's looking interesting as far as you know. I think for the fans, it'll be nice. Uh, you won't have those big schools that can kind of overpower you know the smaller schools anymore. So I think uh, you'll get a full season of good games and everything for the for the fans. How excited are you guys about that as players? It doesn't really change much for us, for me, anyways. Yeah, for us, it's all about one game to the next, getting the wins, stacking up, doesn't really matter who it's against. Now with the smaller schools, it gives us better chances, but we still got to focus on every game, keep moving forward.